Today we're going to learn about periods and groups on the periodic table. Periods are the horizontal rows that move from left to right across the periodic table. Groups are the vertical columns that go up and down. There are a total of seven periods and 18 groups on the periodic table. Let's examine periods a little bit more closely. Period one starts with hydrogen and continues over to helium in group 18. Below it is period two with lithium and beryllium going over then from boron over to neon at number 10. Period three is below period two and it goes from sodium over to argon, number 18. You are less likely to encounter atoms that fall in periods four through seven at the bottom of the periodic table. Those atoms range from potassium, number 19, to number 118, oganesson. The periodic table is arranged by increasing atomic number. Let's look at number 24, chromium, and then we have 25, manganese, 26, iron, 27 cobalt. Each element is going to have one more proton than the element before it. So the atomic number is going to increase from left to right by one. The periodic table is not arranged by increasing atomic mass. If you notice, number 27 cobalt has an atomic mass of 58.993. Nickel, right next to it, has an atomic mass of 58.693. If we are to arrange the periodic table by increasing atomic mass, nickel would actually go before cobalt. Notice how some elements as well also are missing an atomic mass. Therefore, it would be harder to arrange the periodic table without having that information. But each element does have a designated number of protons. Now we're going to look at groups. Again, there are 18 groups found in the periodic table. Group one contains hydrogen through francium. Group two has beryllium through radium. Groups three through 12 are going to be found on this part of the periodic table. You're not often going to encounter atoms from this area of the periodic table in eighth grade science. So we're generally going to skip groups three through 12. Then we pick up at group 13 with boron. Carbon is in group 14. Nitrogen down is group 15. Oxygen is 16. Group 17 starts with fluorine. And then helium is found at the start of group 18. The number of valence electrons can also be determined by looking at your periodic table. Reminder that valence electrons are the electrons found in the outermost electron shell of an atom. Hydrogen is going to have one valence electron. It is in position one on the periodic table. Helium on the right side of the periodic table is going to have two valence electrons because it is in position two. Lithium is going to have one valence electron. Beryllium is going to have two. Boron has three valence electrons. Carbon has four. Nitrogen has five. Oxygen has six. Fluorine has seven. And neon has eight valence electrons. Another way to determine the number of valence electrons an atom has is to count how many places over from the left side of the periodic table that that atom appears. Let's look at silicon. Silicon is one, two, three, four places over from the left side, so it is going to have four valence electrons. Let's go ahead and draw a Bohr model for number three, lithium. Lithium has three protons and four neutrons. Because it has three protons, it will also have three electrons. Lithium appears in period two, which means it's going to have two electron shells. When placing electrons, there's a few rules to follow. The first ring can only hold a maximum of two electrons. 
Lithium is going to need three electrons, which means our first ring has two electrons, and the third electron is going to be moved to the outside ring of the atom. Your valence electrons are the electrons in the outside ring of the atom. In lithium's case, it only has one, so it has one valence electron. Now let's look at atom number 12, magnesium. Magnesium has 12 protons and 12 neutrons. Because it has 12 protons, it should also have 12 electrons. The first ring around magnesium can hold two electrons. Once we have these two placed, we still need to add an additional 10 electrons. The second ring around magnesium can hold up to eight electrons. Counting, so far we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, which means we still need to add an additional two electrons in the third ring. These are going to be our two valence electrons.